Do you remember the magic wand earlier in the video that we made float? Talking about impromptu magic, what's more compelling than a wand floating is to use something people see every day like a pencil. In fact, let me enlarge this for you. Do you teach elementary kids? I love telling them that a pencil is like a magic wand because with this end, you can make anything appear and this end disappear. But when you do a floating pencil, there's an interesting advanced move that one could accomplish to make it look like you are not holding it in your hand. This advanced move is a basic principle of magic that people cannot watch a larger move and see a smaller one. In other words, in the process of showing someone the pencil floating, if I turn to show the other side of my hand, and at the same time, I lower my finger, I don't remove my hand, because again, why would I be then holding it? In fact, I use this as a static electricity, so I, there's a motivation for me to grab my hand and make it look like the pencil floats. And look, there's no tape or glue, but yet it's floating. But what happens is when I go to turn to the palm side of my hand, I'm simply lowering that finger. And it allows a little bit of an advanced technique and a little bit of advanced knowledge now with basic principles of illusion on stage that when there's a bigger movement, most likely we miss the smaller ones.